Hey, what's up, everybody? This is James from Flipping Mistakes. Um, I got a question not too long ago about how to use the data you find from driving for dollars to actually reach out, maybe send a letter, probably find a phone number um, to someone who you want to buy their house. So I decided to jump over here real quick and actually show you how I do it, uh, specifically in my market. Um, it's not that difficult. I'll take you through two ways one, using Redfin another using uh, the GIS system the GIS system is something that is available in any market no matter where you live um, for Chicago and other markets uh, Redfin does a good job of showing us the information we need to be able to do the same thing so let's go and let's jump in all right so I'm gonna use one of my houses just so the information is kind of you know I'm not giving away folks deals but let's put in um, one of the addresses to one of the houses I currently got at 11039 South Emerald. <clears throat> so on Redfin, when you actually pull this up, uh, what you're actually looking for is the PIN number. It's the property identification number. Um, you can find this at a variety of different sites and different things. I've just found it in the past easy to get it from Redfin. Um, it's in the public facts section. Um, and it's the APN number. That's typically the PIN number. What you'll want to do is just copy that. Once you get that, you can actually um, go to your favorite search engine. And then you'll want to type in your, um, typically, it's like your assessor's office or your tax portal. I know in Cook County, it's actually called the Cook County, uh, Cook County, tax portal their their website is the easiest to look up this information um, so it's right here Cook County property info um, and they've recently updated their site to where you can literally just type in the address or the pin uh, the pin is a little bit uh, more specific sometimes you got to be really careful in how you put the address in so instead of wasting time trying to figure out how they want to see the address I just get the pin and then here it goes so you see the property address is right here they got a little picture of it what it looked like before we got it and then you see the mailing address obviously is i got rehabs it has everything there uh, it kind of lets you know all the the tax info if there's any exemptions uh, it even lets you know some of the deeds uh situations so we got a deed in trust and we got the trustee deed the mortgage so that kind of lets you know what's going on there so you're like hey but james you know Redfin is not available in my area if it's not available in your area I, I do definitely um, feel sorry for you because it's an amazing website that we use every day but what you will want to do is search for your county so I'm in Cook County and then type GIS so GIS is what uh, I guess is right here geographical information systems and typically it's going to be one of the first you know links or so that comes up and what you can do uh, using this, you can actually type in the address. Uh, sometimes the address works kind of like the other thing I was at. It doesn't always work. Um, but if you type in the address here, 239 South Emerald Avenue. Oh, they got autocomplete now. They stepping up. So that makes the address work a lot better. Um, hit accept, just accepting their terms and conditions. And then it goes right to the property. It's right here. Here's the pins. Here's the pins of all the neighboring properties. But you also see the pin over here. So then you would just take this pin, go back to the actual uh, tax portal uh, for your county, and you should see something similar to this. Um, every county is going to be different. Chicago is a more um, robust and advanced in terms of some of their technology as of late. Um, so you may have to call up there to the, the uh, tax office or go in. Um, to get some of this information but the biggest thing is if you're driving dollars you get 20 30 different you know properties you want to make sure whatever way you can access it is a way that is um, uh, easy and that you can do at bulk so um, I don't really have a way for myself but this is the easiest way that I've been able to get addresses um, you can have VAs and different people employees do this too as well for you as well so that's it. Um, two different ways on how to look up the mailing address when driving for dollars or just trying to find different properties 
out there that you don't know who actually owns it. All right. Hopefully this was helpful. If not, feel free to put some comments below and I'll be more than happy to answer any questions. If you have a different portal um, that you're having troubles with, um, send me your county um, and I'll try and help you out too as well. So let me know. See ya.